2024 Porsche 992 GT3 RS. This particular model is the tribute version. 150 were made for the US only. It comes with uh, all of the green accents, only in the tribute version does it come with these features. Also comes with uh, another package, a box of, of items that come with it. It comes with a watch, it comes with uh, some other carbon fiber bits, uh, it comes with a very special cover, and uh, lots of other extras. The one thing in particular about this car that was added, like all the GT3 RSs in the 992 version got, was the elimination of the radiators on the left and the right hand side, and it's put to one big radiator in the center so all the cooling goes in the middle and then the air goes through the radiator a big huge radiator up through the middle and then over to the sides of the car not up and over the car but over to the side so that the warm air doesn't go back into the engine this frees up the two sides of the car that allows for downforce so in the back of each one of these panels is a louver that turns that you can adjust in the car that it can either be automatic or manual and that allows for downforce in the front and then that times with the rear wing in the back that we'll look at in a second so no radiators here anymore but now downforce force has been extremely improved in, on both the left and right hand side of the car so then as we come around on this side of the car you see all the additional arrow that's added into the car that's here that keeps the air moving tight around the car and then because of the downforce on the left and right hand side all of that air can build up into the front wheel well so you need to evacuate that air just like the race cars just like the club sport uh, 25 the monti racing edition you have all that air that's inside you so you have to pull that air out so that you don't create lift in the car same thing on the back of the wheels that's why this is all opened up in this area the same thing to add additional downforce even the the wishbone suspension in the front has been thinned out and adds downforce on both the left and right hand side so everywhere the wind touches in the front of this car adds downforce to the front of this car and that's to counterbalance the additional downforce that you're adding with the huge wing in the back with the amount of downforce you put on that it actually reduces the downforce in the front because you're pushing behind Behind the back wheels so you need to counterbalance that and have just as much downforce in the front as you have in the back then as we come along the side of the car this whole door panel is completely carbon fiber this is just like the uh, the race car so very light car they do have to add the steel beam inside for DOT and crash protection but otherwise the door is all carbon fiber so inside the car Inside the car in the GT3 RS, the, the biggest thing you see is the, the four knobs for adjusting all the different parts of the suspension, electronic stability control, traction control, and you can do that on the fly in the track, which makes it uh, really an even improvement over a, a GT3 cup car to be able to adjust it as you're driving around the track. Coming down further, this is all, these air intakes here are actually just for uh, downforce. This is all air that goes right through the car. It's not used for uh, intake. And it comes down through the car and evacuates the car in the back. Same thing back here, some more aero that's added. The wing is probably the most exceptional part of the GT3 RS. It has the DRS in the back, it's drag reduction system. So when the drag reduction system is on, this wing comes up and then reduces the, the drag, reduces the downforce in the straightaways. So you get that added speed. Uh, the one thing a lot of people don't may not realize is to actually get less drag and more downforce, like when you watch Formula One, you want to make the wing as a segmented wing. So when you have two pieces like this, you actually get more downforce for the given width of area than you would if you made this all one piece. So this is a uh, 520 horsepower, naturally aspirated, flat six engine, it's a 4.2 liter, uh, revs up to 9,000 RPM and sounds incredible. Come around the back, on both sides of the car there's uh, there's basically a coolant and, uh, 
engine oil. I fill and check those in the back. It's actually the engine management system checks the level and here's where you would fill those. And the same things around this side. I've added on the car, basically the car is stock, but the uh, green uh, handles were added to, to match the green stitching. They're, they are originally gray. Seat belts were also made green to match. Full bucket carbon fiber seats. Some people think they're not comfortable. I, I could drive in them for eight hours. They hold my body perfect. They're great for the track, great for everyday driving. Yeah, race tech on the inside. And what's fun about the car, even, you know, driving around, you go on the highway 70 miles an hour, 65 miles an hour, you turn the, uh, the DRS on and off, and you can feel the whole car get pulled to the ground and off. So you can kind of feel the effect of that downforce, uh, which is really amazing and really fun to play with. You, and then when you turn off the DRS or you add that downforce and you come to on ramps and off ramps on the highway, it really makes a big difference and it makes it a lot of fun to drive, even on the streets. And that's it. That's the 992 GT3 RS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.